All right, guys, what's going on? It's St. Mike. And if my long-term subscribers remember, last year we laid down approximately 1,400 square feet of snow melt. Let me just get in here. Sorry. Across four loops that go for a driveway and walkway. And honestly, we forgot <laughs> that we had to finish this job. The homeowner didn't call us, but called us over the weekends panicking that, hey, it's Godzilla. Homeowner called us over the weekend panicking because uh, today's Monday, December 14th, and on Wednesday going to Thursday, in the greatest city in the face of the earth, New York City and the Long Island metropolitan area, we're going to have a blizzard. They're telling anywhere between... 10 to 24 inches of snow. So he called me up panicking. He's like, listen, St. Mike, you gotta hook me up. So uh, we got it done. I dedicated half a day here. And again, we still have some loose that lands to fix like fresh air I gotta bring in. And um, what else? Yeah, and, you know, I gotta support the expansion tank. We're not with band iron, but that's about it. So let's take a look at the Lars Mascot FT. This is 199,000 BTU boiler only. I've never put in a Lars before, but this is what the engineers uh, designed. And this side right here, this pipe, again, I have, I'm working with very limited space here, but this pipe right here, that is my return water coming from the system. The pipe in that far corner is my supply piping, leaving the boiler and it comes up here goes through the primary loop circulator. And as you can see, I use the Webstone and Nipco company uh, circulator isolation flanges. I've got the Armstrong, again, this is all engineered by the rep. I just installed what they told me to. Uh, Armstrong primary loop circulator, another Webstone isolation circulation flange, the Kalefi <coughs> air separator this is inch and a half. All right, so my primary loop is there. My closely spliced T's right here. System pump is right there, and there are my four loops. We're nice and getting toasty. Let's see where we're at. We're at 84 degrees. Design temperature is 90, by the way. But just to show you what I'm working with here. That's it. That's the crawl space. <laughs> but I got it in there, and it's a closed system. I don't have any extra, I don't have any piping bringing in makeup, makeup water. And it was designed that way. It was designed to be a totally independent system. I got glycol in the system. I got fresh water in there and that's it. Low water cutoff. And if there's a problem, it is what it is. You know, we're not going to, we're not going to be constantly feeding water, you know, because a lot of people's boiler feed valves are left open, but I'm very impressed. This is the Lars Mascot FT, boiler only, 199,000 BTUs. Beautiful. So I got to finish the fresh air. We're going to finish that next week. And I got to support the expansion tank. Do that the right way. I got the uh, Sani Flow condensate pump with neutralizer built in. Three-quarter PVC underneath. As you can see, guys, we were not working with any room here. And even on the top, just barely was able to size down to two inch. It's permitted, it's in the manual. And there's all of our zones. So I'll try to come back here later and use the thermal imaging camera and see how it's heating up. Okay, we're good. See, we do a little bit of everything, guys. A little bit of everything. All right, thanks for watching. If you guys look very carefully, you can see the three quarter inch PEX tubing starting to heat up already. Sorry, let me dry off the screen. It's raining out. Look at that. I'm just barely start to see it. It's only been running for a little bit. But you can see that? See those rows of PEX? Look at that. I can still see it. Just barely see it. Look at that. Crazy. 
See that, guys? Awesome. You know what? Shoveling snow isn't for everyone. I'd rather get out the plow. Look at that. Beautiful.